Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week five, no, four, of the Pokemon Premier League. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, this week we're up against Ellie and the Shanghai Dragons. Make sure I get it right this time because I butcher everyone's team name. Um, yeah, so to give you some context before this game, I am currently one and two. Spoilers. I did lose to Lars last week, if you haven't watched that battle already. So I'm currently sitting at 1-2, to two, uh, I believe, on a minus 3 KD. Yeah, it must be, because I won one oh, lost one one oh, and then lost 3 oh. So, um, I really feel like I need to get a win this week. Now, the issue with that is Ellie is currently 0-3. Um, and Ellie is definitely not a bad player, so that's just very unlike her. Um, so it makes me re like really terrified that she's going to be out for blood this game. And as you'll see in a minute in the team builder, I feel like I've got an okay chance in this game. There's definitely things that I can do that mess her up, and there are definitely things that she can do that can, can mess me up. So um, I don't think that, that Ellie's record is reflective of like, how, how good she is in, in draft. Um, so I am absolutely terrified for this game. Um, I need to get that win to bring me back to 2-2 two -two to kind of keep me in that, that you know, playoff content, uh, contention spot. So, yeah, um, let's go look over the team that we're bringing this week. Looking at the team for this week's battle against Ellie, I feel like we've got an okay chance here. Um, I think, much like most drafts, we've both got Pokemon that can kind of destroy each other. Uh, mainly on Ellie's team being Iron Hands, that thing is terrifying to my draft. Um, and also, I think it was the Araquanid. Uh, and the Lycan Rock, which I was mostly terrified of while trying to build a team. Um, but you can see below Ellie's draft is the Dragapult, Iron Hands, Heatran, Landorus, Ferian, Araquanid, Superior, Alolan Ninetales, Hisuian Coilfish, Lycan Rock, and Trapinch. Araquanid and Alolan Ninetales are the Terramons, as you can see. Um, so looking at this team, the six I expected to come 100% Dragapult, because it's Dragapult. Uh, Iron Hands gives me an absolute torrid time, so I expect to see that come. Heatran I expect to come purely because of the Gardevoir. Um, without it, Fairy is very, very good against Ellie's team, so that pretty much has to come. None of the Terra typings on any of our other Pokemon um, resist it. Araquanid is obviously bulky, um, but uh, it won't be a switch into multiple moon blasts. Um, don't expect the Landorus T to come because I have obviously got the Qrem. Um, even Urshifu doesn't mind Landorus too much because obviously it lacks a uh, good flying stab and the Wicked Blow still does like 60% to a uh, defensive Landorus because of obviously the critical hit. Um, I expect the Araquanid to come. Superior is a maybe because the Gastrodon is a huge issue to Ellie's team. Um, Ninetales I expect to come because of the uh, chance of obviously having Veil. Veil with Iron Hands behind it is terrifying to my team. Um, and then Hisuian Quillfish could come as an answer for Iron Moth, but she has a Heatran, which I think is probably a better answer, as well as the Araquanid. Um, I think Lycan Rock Dusk will be the last one on the team. And then there's a Trap Inch, which is a Trap Inch, so I'm, I'm not too worried. Looking at the team we've gone for this week, we've gone for Max Defense Shaman. Um, I think this was quite a late change into the the, the, the team, um, but it was my best answer for an Iron Hands, basically. It's my Electric Resist on the team uh, this week of the six, which you can see here. Um, I think with Earth Power, I should be able to kind of win the war, or at least severely weaken the um, Iron Hands enough to the point where Drain Punch isn't doing enough to me. Earth power is doing more. Plus, I obviously do run the chance of obviously getting a special defense drop from the Earth power, which would be really nice. I am fearing a bulk upset, um, so we'll, we'll we'll see how that plays out. But this is like my immediate switch into Iron Hands. I have got a few things that can hit it quite hard. Otherwise, Giga Drain for sustainability, Terra Blast as a fire move, um, mainly for the either Superior or the Hisuian. Not the Hisuian, sorry. The Alolan Ninetales. Um, the fire matchup here can really help out Shane and also helps with the Heatran too, defensively. And then Synthesis is there for longevity. Next up, we've got Gardevoir. 
is turning into quite a reoccurrence here. We bring in an assault vest, Gardevoir, uh, max special attack, modest, um, almost maximum HP with a little bit in speed. I cannot remember what the speed was there to speed creep. It might potentially be there for a, an Iron Hands speed creep of my non invested Gardevoir, um, which is why I put eight in there. Um, but yeah, Ellie severely lacks any kind of switch into a fairy other than Heatran. Um, I have a lot of things that can deal with Heatran, so if Heatran does come, I think I should be able to deal with that quite easily. Plus it lacks reliable recovery. If it does have lefties, then I might potentially knock off an item uh, and just weaken it that way naturally. Um, and I do obviously have Aura Sphere, so if I outspeed the Heatran for whatever reason, or if I catch it on a switch with an Aura Sphere, it's going to do a lot of damage. The Assault Vest does just kind of generally help me with a lot of other things in their team though, so it does help potentially if there's a special Dragapult. Um, it does also help me with uh, Superior, kind of like a backup check, as long as it doesn't get too out of hand. It also helps with a load of Nine Tails. Um, and overall, just Fairy to Ellie's Draft is, isn't, you know, it's not great. So Moonblast and Aura Sphere here for obviously the reasons I've explained. Draining Kiss is just there for potential recovery if I need it. We've seen how it worked out really well against Alex in week two and then we do have the knockoff like I said just to just to get rid of irons um, especially as I'm anticipating like an, a rocky helmet potentially on the uh, iron hands I'm not necessarily thinking that I'll get much of an opportunity to knock off because Ellie will probably preserve the iron hands if this thing is in against it but um, that would allow my uh, Shifu to to you know, open up a bit next we've got Corviknight Especially defensive, Roost, Default, Brave Bird, U-Turn. I have to bring this thing because Ellie does have the Araquanid. And I know I don't have the fastest draft in the world, but if she was to get a Sticky Webs up, then that would just make Iron Hands even more terrifying, and I don't want to allow that. Brave Bird is there just for damage. U-Turn is because Iron Hands or um, potentially Heatran can quite easily switch into this thing. If Landorus comes, then I've got Mirror Armor to deflect like a special attack drop. Um... I think that's mainly the only thing that could potentially debuff me though. Potentially also like a stops me from being debuffed by Shadow Ball um, from the uh, from the I've forgotten what the dragon's called. Um, that's pretty much why it's there though. The main thing it's here for is the Dragon Ball and obviously Superior. It completely shuts down Superior even if it wants to get to plus six. Like it's going to do no damage to me whatsoever. Which is another reason why I think Superior might not come. Next up is Gastrodon. Uh, Gastron's got a really decent matchup here. Um, it does well against a lot of Ellie's team. Obviously, things to look out for here are the um, Trailblaze and Araquanid, the Superior, and Freeze Dry on the. Um, what's it called? Alone and Nine Tails. Lycanroc also gets Trailblaze, but that's probably the hardest thing it gets to hit me, other than close combat. Which is why I'm running Rindo Berry, because if Superior doesn't come, Ellie's really going to struggle to damage this thing. Unless she gets like, you know, plus two on Iron Hands and Close Combat Speed. Um, Storm Drain, obviously to absorb water moves and moving Iraq Iraq when you're about, that's going to be really helpful. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it, really. Um, Earthquake and Rock Slide give me good coverage against the team. Um, I think it gives me neutral on everything, at least. We've then got Recover, obviously for recovery, and Spikes. Ellie's team has zero. Uh, hazard removal whatsoever. So if I can just get a spike up each time this thing comes in against something that doesn't really want to see it, like Heatran, or potentially that Iron Hands, um, then I think we're going to be in a really good position um, to, you know, weaken down Eddie's team and get me in a good place for an end game, which we'll come on to in a moment. But Gastron's going to be really big for me this week. Next up, the penultimate Pokemon is uh, Shifu Single Strike with the Lumberry. Now, I am running Lumberry on this this week. I was originally going to run my protective pads like normal, um, but the fear of Will O Wisp on the Dracapult uh, on my predicted Sucker Punch is the main reason why I've gone for Lumberry. Um, and obviously, it also cures me of any other kind of like paralysis, say, for example, from hands. Um, or poison, like if there's toxic spikes that come. So it's generally just a good item. And we're going to go for four. Uh, move, sucker punch, wicked blow, U turn, close combat. Um, wicked blow and close combat do neutral to like the whole entire draft, which is really nice. Um, Ellie's team isn't the fastest either, so I only get outsped by Lycanroc, which isn't going to want to come in on an Urshifu anyway. Um, 
the superior, which might, and then also the Dragapult, but the Dragapult isn't necessarily going to want to switch into this thing either. So actually, if he's got a really good chance of doing some big damage here, um, even like two close combats to Iron Hands is like 80%, so um, it can do, it can, it can punch holes. Um, U-turn's obviously there for momentum, um, because I think keeping momentum against Ellie's team will let me really dominate the game, especially again, like I said, if it means that I can bring in, um, I don't know, obviously we know the last one is Dino Dave, if Landorus comes, or um, Gastrodon if Heatran comes in for whatever reason, or it'll allow me to get into Corviknight if Superior comes in, so I, I think the momentum there is huge, because I can get myself a real upper hand with that. Final Mon is um, a Dino Dave, so the item is wrong. I actually changed this last minute before I went through the battle. I had Charty Berry for uh, a rock move on the uh, Lycan Rock. But then I thought, actually, they have no reason to click a Cellar Rock. They'll probably just click Stone Edge and it'll probably just kill me anyway because it's Lycan Rock Dusk. Um, so I decided to go Boots. One, because I don't want to take 25% each time. And Kyurem is very threatening to Ellie's team. Very threatening to Ellie's team. Um, like Freeze Dry and Earth Power kind of ruin her. Um, like Dragapult's weak to that, Iron Hands is weak to that, Heatran's weak to that, Landorus is weak to that, Arachnid is weak Terror is weak to that, Superior is weak to that, Ninetales is neutral, uh, Quillfish is weak to that, Lycan Rock is weak to that, and Trapping is weak to that. It's like the ice and ground, like, <laughs> absolutely ruins any team. So I think the longevity on this thing is more important, and I have kind of got switch ins to, I didn't mention it, but Gastron is my answer to Lycan Rock, but it's my best thing. Um, so, uh, like, uh, I needed the boots, basically, so Chai Berry went. I've gone over the moves, Draco is there, almost as filler. I don't think I really ever need to click it. Um, like, now I look back at the moves, there probably was something else I could have put there. Not sure what it would have been, but I, I potentially I could have. Um, and then Flash Cannon is there purely for the Ninetales. Like, uh, purely for the Ninetales. It doesn't do anything against the rest of the draft, other than hit like and rock. Or potentially a Fairy. Terror on the uh, Raquinid. So, oh, and enough speed on this, sorry, to also outspeed the Landorus, because if Landorus comes in um, and, and kills something, Kyurem comes in and it pretty much like claims a kill on something. The only thing it just can't kill outright is the Iron Hands. But even then, Iron Hands will still take an absolute ton from Earth Power, because I'm anticipating it to be physically defensive as an answer for the uh, Shifu. So that's the six. Um, let me know what you think below, obviously, before the battle you know, begins. And I'll see you in a second to, well, show you the live battle. Right, we are here for week four of the PPL, and we are against Ellie and the Shanghai High Dragons. Now, I know I butchered Alex's team name a couple weeks ago, so I hope I've got that right for Ellie too. Um, we are now searching, so let's... Uh, get the Petra and Battle theme going here in the background. Um, <clears throat> the matchup in this game I'm not too confident about at all. Um, Ellie is 0 free, so she's going to be out for blood. So she's got the Nid, she's got the A9, and so there's no Lando. I didn't really expect it. I can rock uh, Heatran and the, uh, what's its face? Dragapult. So, looking at her team, Gardevoir looks like a good lead, and Gardevoir was going to be my lead. Also, um, Shaman goes in. Defensive Shaman goes in here. Um, there's no Serp, which means she might struggle to take out the Gastrodon, which is good. And the more I can get my spikes up, the better, because Ellie has no hazard removal. I do have default, because she could be running webs. Um, so, I think we need guard. I have to be careful, because guard of what is like my answer to, um, to hands. It's my best way of dealing with it. I do have earth power on things too, and actually food in close combat, but... I'm gonna lead this thing. If I can just do massive damage to hands off the bat uh, and trade that, then I'm more than happy to do that. So she needs Becca, which is the A9. A okay, so she might go straight for the, um, what's it called here? 
So I'm going to trace this note warning. That's fine. Um, I might just click the knockoff. I can't do a lot to stop the veil from going up here. Um, and knock will be nice in the long run in case she wants to switch or anything. So I'm going to click knockoff. Um, it's going to be. It's going to have to be Aurora Veil. Oh, she just clips business. I maybe I should tank that well. No freeze turn one, which is nice. I do knock that off and it turns out to be Specs. Okay, so Specs is gone, which is huge. So I think I should be free to click a Moonblast here. Um, but I, I have to keep this thing around. Uh, the fact it's lost its Specs, yeah, okay, that does. Still no freeze, which is good. That does a lot of damage. Special attack drop? No. Right, I need to keep this thing around. Um, I am especially defensive Corviknight, so I'm going to go into that. I can't leave Corviknight to go too weak here, because um, it is probably my best answer to Dragapult. And I need to probably try and get some Draining Kisses off, but I don't actually know if I'm not going to be able to. So, Specs. I really wasn't expecting Specs. I was really expecting Aurora Veil. Um, because Aurora Veil just allows Hands to be silly, really. Um, I don't think Hands is going to come in here. And I don't think Corviknight will take too much damage here. I think U-Turn is pretty free, although she might be running Flame Body on... What's his face? So she withdraws. Okay, but can it be into... I was going to be into Potato Heatran. So that's unfortunate. Um, because I do get into Corviknight and I am going to be slower. Um, do I make the aggressive play and go straight there, Shinfu, on this thing? Or do I make the play and go into Gastrodon? Because Gastrodon is my Lycanroc answer and I don't have another answer really other than potentially Shaman. Um, Corviknight probably as well but I don't have anything to hit back the Lycanroc so I am Rindo Berry if she's not I mean, I'm pretty sure she's going to set up rocks here I'm pretty sure she's going to set up rocks um, so do I go straight into Macho Man? Probably not because I don't want to lose the health I'm going to go straight into Fidel Gastro I am Rindo Berry if she wants to solo beam me that's fine she's not on a balloon um and if I can get a spike up, that'll be nice too. So is this going to be a throw? So there, she sets up a cox, that's fine. And yes, I said cox. So, um, I think a rack when is her switching here. But I don't think that's an issue. I can't remember what uh, she has on her terrors on a rack I want to say it's water. Water, Fairy, and Electric. So do I want to set Spikes up? Maybe. Probably should have clicked Recover. Okay, she doesn't She doesn't have the Power Herb Soda Beam, which is a shame. I really expected the Power Herb Soda Beam. Okay, so in comes Becca. It's going to click Freeze Dry. She's clicking Freeze Dry. So that's... I, yeah, I can see that coming from a mile off. Um, or is she going to go for... So she can't get Veil. I think I go into Corv. And I then slow you turn out. The spike is here to stay unless I decide to defog, which I'm boots on. Okay, so she switched. Does she go back into potato? Yes, yeah, she does. That's fine. Um, honestly, that's fine. I don't. How much does Power Herb Solar Beam do to me during through the regular? And actually, the fact that A9 is getting weakened is fine by me. So I am lefties. Um, I'm especially defensive, so I'm pretty sure. Unless. Um, Heatran. OU offensive. So Magma Storm doesn't kill. Does Flamethrower? Fifty-nine to seventy. So I don't think I die unless she specs or life orb, um, and that would be a problem. She might have the the 
solar beam. But I do have the Rindo Berry, so what happens if I put solar beam on you because it's entirely possible that she does do that. Um Do I go for slow U-turn here? Corviknight is I think less important now. That A9 is weak. It's weak to hands, it's weak to rock. It is my drag pull answer. I'm gonna click U-turn. Um it could have been a misplay. Does she do power herb solar beam? I in prep. She overheats shit. Um, do I die? I live. That's nice. She eject pack? She is. Okay. So we get the slow initiative. Um, which isn't good because now I'm really gonna struggle against the uh, really gonna struggle against pulp. Um, is she gonna be I don't think I can roost up. I mean, I could roost up on this thing. Um, she takes the spikes damage. A U turn. Are you helmet? Your helmet. Okay, your helmet. So this does go down, which is unfortunate. Uh, so hands goes 1 and 0. And Court Knight goes 0 and 1. But does this now mean. So if you're, let's put in the Gardevoir, let's go to uh, Iron Hands, you're not, so let's just assume your max special defense adamant, Moonblast is 72 to 85, so from Spikes, and I, I think I have to go into this thing. Um, the spikes chip on everything is going to be really good, um, and she doesn't really have a switch in, other than the, uh, I don't even know if a rack win it is technically a switch in here. I think Moonblast is incredibly free, so I'm just going to do it, and if she goes into Heatran, then it's chip. Do I go for the read on the Heatran and click Aura Sphere? I don't know if I do, I don't really have a switch in, other than Gastrodon now, so I'm just going to click Moonblast. Like, she might ever predict, expect me to predict. Uh, this game is going as horrifically as I expected it to, which is not good. Um, but any chip on this thing, I think we'll then start to put it in like Earth Power range for QRAM. Have I, I've imported the, I didn't clear my old sets out. That's bad. Have I got the right set here for, uh, let's clear my import sets while we wait for this turn to, Roll out. Uh, right, let's try this again. Refresh. She withdraws. Which is to be expected. Let me show important set. So she goes into the arachnid. Okay. I can't defog away rocks now. Uh, sorry. I can't defog away the, the webs, which is uh, an issue. I have to think about it. That does no damage. Um, do I click knock? I've got. So I've got boots on two things. So I think I'm going to click knock. I'm, I'm going to be faster. And I think knocking this thing off is going to help in the long run. If she wants to set up webs here and I knock off an assault vest, then that means that I'm going to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, say, actually, this is probably a throw. So she does. She doesn't terror. So I knock off the AV. She trailblazes, so she predicts the um, predicts the what's his face. So I'm going to go out into Dino Dave now, because so I think Dino Dave um, is still is is going to be able to freeze dry this thing. Now there's no AB, or she could Terra um, into Fairy, and I can click the uh, Flash Cannon. But Dino Dave is relatively free into this thing, I think. Like, if she wants to... I guess if she meets your life, that does... That does good damage, to be fair. Um, are you going to Terra Fairy here? And how much does Terra Fairy do to you? Ah, uh, where's... Q. 
Your room into Dino Dave, and then let's say we go to a rat Quernid. Um Why does Flash Cannon do absolutely nothing? Oh, because you've got a fairy type body. Fairy. And then Terra. So there's 40. Yeah, so like, if it's max HP, it doesn't actually do enough. Let's click the flash cannon and see if she terror fairies. She withdraws. Okay, so I've, I've shown off the tech now. Um, Alright, so she sacks off A9. She sacks off A9. Which is okay, it's okay. Um, so, snow warning does kill this thing, which is fine. Um, so the flash cannon, Dino Dave gets a kill. Uh, so A9 goes down. And, um, what got the kill? It was Kieran. Kieran gets the kill. Right, no 6 0, but it's still definitely on to be a 5 0, um, which isn't great. Let's just put one more against everyone here. I've still got Shaman around. Actually, now A9's gone. All that's left is Heatran. Araquanid as well, actually, slightly. Kind of. Sucks. Um, but I am Terrifier, so I could potentially play that mind game with her. Um, which is fine. I think if Araquanid comes back in, I click Freeze Drive. I think if Hands comes in, she's going to click Drain Punch on me. That's the only issue. But Spikes. Useless. Halt. Okay. Is she gonna stay in and click dragon darts? Or what is she gonna do? Um, so how much does this do to Dragapult? I think Dragapult will kill. Dragon Darts to 75 to 88. I think I'm above 75, but at the lower end, so I need a low roll in my favour. If that is non-attack infested. Uh, she might U-turn, but I've lost my answer to this thing. I could go into Gardevoir and sack it off, which I think is the play. Because then I think I have to go to Shifu and just click Wicked Blow. Um, or U-turn, actually, because I am the Lumberry. So I'm going to sack off the guard here. Um, Let's see what this does. Does she U-turn? Does she click a dragon move? A dragon move would be quite nice. She clicks a Draco. So this is where we find out if she's scarfed or not. Um, do I have anything that's... I mean, I'm going to be slower than this. So Aura Sphere might be okay here. Because she goes Heatran if she switches out, if she's choiced in some way. So I'm going to click Aura Sphere, because I'm slower. Okay, so she's not she's not choice, but she might think that if I now go into her Shifu, that I am choice Scarfed. If I go immediately, um, she knows I'm not Scarfed in Kirin, so I can't bluff that. If I go straight into this, then she knows. Um, I am Lumberry, but I think I've got a free-ish U-turn here. Um, how much does Wicked Blow actually do to... What's his face? I haven't done very because I was scared that she'll have Hex or Sucker Punch shenanigans. Um, so if I go at Shifu, and if I go for the Iron Hands, if you are max HP, Wicked Blow does <laughs> nothing. Let's click, so I click close combat, do I click U-turn? Close combat does 33%, which is nice after spikes. I'm going to U-turn, she might, yeah. Okay, so she thinks I'm scarfed, um, which I need to bluff. I need to bluff that big time now. So she goes out into the, yeah, this thing, which is nice. Um, I think I have to go Shaman now, really. But I'm not protective pads, so she might think I'm scarfed, which is good, this is good. Um, what do I have left? I do have Gastrodon left. Uh, 
Um, I do have the gastrodon left. Which is more important, shaman or gastrodon? I think gastrodon's more important. So I'm going to go into shaman. I have got the earth power here. Um, the snow is going to end, I think. Which means it's going to have to end soon. So, what's your earth power switch in now? I mean, you could go to a Raquamid. Um, do I click Giga Drain, thinking the Raquamid's going to come in? I mean, you don't really have a switch other than other than the Dragapult. So I think if Dragapult comes in, I'm playing the, the SAT game. Um, might be able to chip it down with this thing by clicking F out. I'm not attacking Vested though, which is annoying. So she doesn't know what I am though. Like, Earth Power now is incredibly free against this team. She switches out. Interesting. Um, useless. Which is the. Uh, this thing. Okay. Cool. I like it. So Earth Power does nothing. Can I get a special defense drop though so she can't sub? Cursed body is the worst thing that could have happened because now I cannot break sub. Uh, yikes. Um, right, so I think this thing is still valuable, but I don't know if it's more valuable than Kyurem. Although he's got Lycan Rock and Heatran. So I think Kyurem is my most I'm in such a sticky position here. I just, I think I have to hope for a Draco miss, if I'm honest. Um, I think that's the position I'm in. I have to hope for a Draco miss. The more I can chip this thing down, it's not lefties. So she puts U-turn. So she might go Lycan Rock now. Does Lycan Rock get Trailblaze now? Um, let's have a look. The wine can rock get trailblaze now. These spikes are so. Uh, I think it was boots actually. I don't think it took spikes damage. Yeah, fairy bait. I go gastro on this all day. Do I go gastro on this or do I go hedgehog on this? Because this also. Uh, I think gastrodon helps more with. We go Hedgehog. I, I think Hedgehog is the play. So I'm going Hedgehog. I'm keeping Dino Dave because every time it comes in against something that isn't called Dragapult, it does work. Um, so a bit close combat, bit close combat. That does nothing. That's nice to know. Um, are you Lightful? No, you're not Lightful. The Choice Banded. Um, so I think you're going to go Need. I'm clicking Giga Drain. Because if you want to go hands, that's fine. Because I think Spike's Giga Drain to up out my kill. This dies Giga Drain. Heatran can't switch in. Um, unless it's offensive. But then I can Terra Fire. Um, so while this thing isn't terror it's actually really useful for me. So actually, I don't think I'm in a horrific spot. I think I'm still in this. Somehow. Potato. Now, are you offensive? Is my... My concern is... What are you clicking? This thing is more useful to me than I think Kyurem is. I think. So, how much speed does Heatran need? Two. So if I go Shaman, and if I go Heatran... Offensive, so you hit 278. So you need a bit of speed. Um, I could terrify her. Earth Power will kill. Like, if it's max HP, then. Earth Power doesn't kill. I think I terrify her. Think my earth power. We'll do that. Um, this does mean that I'm weaker against Nid, but okay, so she switches. Okay. 
Princess. Is that the Arachnid? Okay. That's a read and a half. That is Jesus. Um, how much does Arachnid? Uh, take the Giga Drain. Not enough. I mean, Leech Life won't kill, but Liquidation might. Um, which is a problem. So I could get a power drop, I get a special defense drop. That would be nice. Any special defense drop. Oh, imagine if I didn't Terra there. Um, I think I go Dave. Dino Dave. We go Dino Dave when we click Freeze Dry. Um, this Arachnid has proven out to be a huge problem now. Um, Do you click the Terra Fairy? Do you click the Terra Fairy? And click a button. Um, because I think we're now at the point where nothing can switch in to Kiram. Nothing. Our Trailblaze won't do enough, and Leech Life doesn't kill me after. She was Pulp, then that's a good play. Um, she's not going to click Leech Life, she's not, she's got to click Liquidation, she's got to. Um, how well does Dino Dave take this? It's a Liquidation, right, so we take it quite well, we take it quite well. Now, I think Freeze Dry is the play, or is Draco, no not Draco, definitely not Draco. We click Freeze Dry, I'm not thinking, right, you die to Freeze Dry? You die. Okay, you die to freeze dry. Um, that's good. So, QRM is 2 0. Shout outs to Dino Dave doing the absolute work. Um, do I keep Dino Dave? Because Heatran now just loses to Shaman. This thing loses to Dragapult. This thing loses to. I don't think I need to keep Dino Dave. I think I click Earth Power in case she does anything funny. But I'm just gonna, yeah, okay, she goes CC. That's fine. So now, uh, actually, and uh, Nid died. So that's a one. Uh, like I'm not good to kill. This is gonna be a close end game again, I can already tell. Um, so Pult Heatran, she can't switch into Earth Power anymore. So actually, Fidel Gastro Earthquake is incredibly free. She's boots on the what's its face. So that's fine. We're going to Fidel Gastro. I am Rindo Berry, but I don't think that matters anymore. I think I just click Earthquake. She hasn't got an Earthquake switch in at this point. So I'm gonna click it. Um, if this thing does get Trailblaze, then cool. Um, Close combat might still do a lot. She might still be in Conscar. Into what's its face? Into um, she might still think on Scarf or Shifu. She can't go hands. I think she sacks Heatran. I think. And then I think she goes hands after that. But I think I just had to keep clicking Earthquake at that point. Um, she trailblazes. Okay, so I am the Rindo. So that's good. This thing should die. It still does a lot of damage. Um, this thing goes down. So Gastrodon, Fidel Gastro. Unless you shook her? She's not shook her. Okay, gets a kill. We like to see it. Um, so, Lycanroc goes down. I still don't think we're, I don't think we're in a good position here. So she goes into this thing. Do I, are you sub? Do I keep clicking Earthquake? Do I recover? How much do you do to me? You're not choice, your boots. We know your boots, Astronaut. And if we go into Dragapult, uh, let's just go to you pivot your boots. Dragon Darts, doesn't kill. Hex, doesn't kill. 
Um, so do I live a Draco Meteor? That's the question. 42 to 50.7. So if you have a max special attack, I think I live. So I think recover is free. I think. This is where I learn against energy ball. I think Draco, I live. I live. Excellent. That's huge. I think she struggles to kill this thing now. She really struggles to kill this thing. Um, she really struggles to kill this thing now. So do I click Earthquake now? Because I think then... I think Shaman can win it out. I think. All I need to do is this thing to die and then I can just click Earth. Uh, close combat. She can't stay in and click. I click Earthquake. I click Earthquake. Because something dies. If something dies. This Gastrodon is huge. So Gastrodon gets another kill. Nice. Um... Gastrodon gets that kill, he trying to down. I just need Chip on the IRL. Okay, so she will be faster. Do I just stay and click EQ? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. She clicks Drain Punch, that does. I think that now kills me. I think. Which is really upsetting. But Earthquake is going to do a lot here. Do I kill? Probably not, because I'm not attacking. That does nothing. Holy shit. That does actually do nothing. Um, I, could, I should have recovered. That's probably a throw there for me. I'm going to click Earthquake again. She Swords Dance. That's a read and a half, that is. Okay, so I'm really glad I earthquake now. I'm really glad I earthquake. Um, because I don't think she's now going to recover enough to the point where she can live an earth power from Shaman. Definitely not. So, Gastrodon goes down. I go into this thing and start clicking Earth Power. I think. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. If she goes into Pult and clicks Draco on me, that's fine. Um, but Hands gets a kill. Gastrodon has put in an enormous shift in this game. Um, I think Heatran didn't get a kill. Pult hasn't got a kill. Okay, kill. Okay, so shaming kills this thing. Now I think it all comes down to whether she's like a DD set or something. Does she have the wisp on the pult? Is she four attacks? Is she four attacks? This is going to come down to the wire. If she Draco's me. I'm gonna click Synthesis and see what happens here. She Shadow Walls. Okay, so there's no no Draco that does let's get the special defense drop. Okay. She got the defense drop. So I do Synthesis. I wish I had Gleam. I so wish I had Gleam here. I so wish I had Gleam. Um, what does more? Earth Power or Terra Fire? Shaman into Pulp. Terra Blast is Terra Fire. Earth Power does more, it does like 30%. That's the death drop, might have just cost me. Oh, it's gonna be a roll. It's gonna be a roll. <laughs> Do I get a special defense drop in return? Cursed Body again. Oh, are you kidding me? Terra Blast. Right, that's what we're clicking. We're clicking the Terra Blast. Live. It all comes down to whether she thinks we're Scar.
Oh, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. It's going to be another 1-0. It's my third one of the season, but who's it going to be to? Holt is 1-0. Shaman goes down. This is like as good of a game as you can get. It's just like my game against Alex. Um, does she have the Will-O-Wisp? That's the thing. Does she have the Will-O-Wisp? I am Lumberry. I click Sucker. She protects. Okay, she protects. We're playing this game. <laughs> We're going to play this game. I think I click Wicked Blow, you know. Or do I click Sucker again? Is she going to Wisp? <sighs> Let's click Sucker. She protects and it fails. Oh, the Wicked Blow would have won. So does that mean the protect is going to work next time? I'm going to click sucker again. She protects again. So I think she's going to attack on the next turn. Oh god, this is going to be, yeah, the tech is... Let's click it one more time. She protects again, she has the double. So she can't get the triple. Is she going to call it and attack the next turn? She's just spamming the protect button. She has to attack. I'm going to pick Wicked Blow. She predicts it this time. She protects. It fails. Wicked Blow. She thinks I'm Scarfed. I'm not. So the Scarf Bluff. The Scarf Bluff. Won it for me. Oh man, that is such a good game, Ellie. That is like, honestly, a ridiculously good game. Um, she thought I was Scarfed. So actually the bluff of the Scarf earlier was clutch. The fact I managed to bluff that out was clutch. And this means our season is back on track at the 2-0. I get the feeling she thinks that she won just by protects st uh, stalling out my sucker punches. Um, but if I was Scarfed, then actually I would have won just by clicking Wicked Blow anyway. So, really good game, Ellie. Um, I honestly thought I was on the back foot throughout that whole game. I don't know what happened like halfway through, but I think the Shaman, the Terror, and the Gastron, I think once the Araquanid died and the A9 died with Freeze Dry, Gastrodon was a huge, huge bonus uh, to me. So, Gastrodon is by far the MVP of this game. By far the MVP. Um, Kyurem, uh, Dino Dave getting two kills as well. Um, honestly, a really good game. I can't get over it. I know I'm repeat. I'm, I'm talking rubbish at this point, but really good game. I'm really sorry, Ellie. That does obviously put you 0-4, and I know how much you probably really wanted to win this game because obviously you need that win uh, to kind of like salvage your season. Um, but I really hope you do well because you are a, a much better battler than this season is making out to, to be for you. Um, so please don't like you know get down about it. You've got every chance of bringing this back to 4-4 in weeks five to eight. So. Yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy that absolute roller coaster of I will try and win my next game uh, by more than one kill, but we take those. So, thank you for watching this, uh, guys. Make sure you leave a like and comment, subscribe if you aren't already, and make sure you check out Ellie uh, as well because her videos are awesome. She does great showdown lives as well, and I thoroughly enjoy watching her because she's just a naturally funny and entertaining person. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.